Hello everyone. People keep asking me, hey Oga, which stabilizer is best? Which stabilizer am I supposed to buy? Which one is supposed to be the best? I need the best stabilizer. Which do you want me to buy? I look at it and say, is it this one that's supposed to be the best? This one's supposed to be the best? Or these ones here, is it one among these ones that are supposed to be the best? Keep watching. Once again, you are welcome. I want to let you know that in the world of stabilizers, there are still the best and we know them. Now, let me brief you, coming to a conclusion that this is the best stabilizer. There are so many things you have to put into precautions. There are so many things you have to put, okay, sorry. There are so many things you have to put into consideration, not precaution. Sorry for that. There are so many things you have to put into consideration. One, you have to consider the strength of that stabilizer. Now, I find out that there are some stabilizers that write it 5,000 watts, especially those round coil. If you carry it, it's very light. That is the watch stabilizer so far. They will tell you it's 5,000 watts, but when you carry it, you have no weight. A good 5,000 watt stabilizer, if you carry it, you feel the weight. Something like Q-Link. Uh, carry it, you feel it. That's one of the, they tell you it's 5,000, but the weight is 3,000. Now, I want to tell you another instance again. There are some another funny stabilizer that they are bringing, just like this. They will tell you it's one and half horsepower, but that stabilizer, don't dare try to carry more than one horsepower when it comes to an inverter AC. To be sincere, because when I open it, I find out that the relays are just Oh, the thing I would have shown you the relays there, they are just normal 15 amps relay. In all these 2000 watt stabilizer, that's what they use. 2000 watt stabilizer are basically 10 amps, that's what it's written. But this one they wrote it 15 amps. But the switching contact is still small. So the maximum I can advise you use it for is 1 horsepower inverter AC. If it were normal AC, you go and use it that they tell you that you can carry 1 and a half horsepower AC. That is clear for you. Two, three months, some self, one month self, it breaks down. They start running the casket again for another stabilizer. That stabilizer, any stabilizer as small as that carrying that small relay, is not suitable to drive an air condition. It's manageable for one horsepower. I sense uh, uh, it is, you can, is, it's only suitable for a maximum of one horsepower inverter AC. So, other story they tell you is written one and a half horsepower. Those are scam. Those write up are scam. You know, in Nigeria, it's a place we find out that you can ship in anything, write anything you want on it, and they sell it. It goes viral in the market. People start buying it, people start selling it, and other stuff. And there's no proper checkmating for us to know whether this one whether the specification is up to what is written on it no and so that's why if you want to get a 5000 watt stabilizer wait does it add weight if it does not add weight don't go there no matter how beautiful that stabilizer it run away from that type of stabilizer and stabilizer now we have two different type of stabilizers we have the microcontroller type and we have the non microcontroller type the non microcontroller type Actually, those ones that have digital display, you see them display the value. Not mind my English, you are not an English student, or I'm just a technical student. Those ones that have the discrete value, you see them show. If it's 220, you see the 220 show. Those ones are microcontroller based. And the other one that does not display are non microcontroller based. They are normal IC. But we still have some few ones that normally have the, that uh, microcontroller, but it does not have that uh, discrete value. Some something like Blue Gate, Blue Gate, and uh, uh, something like Duravos. Duravos are microcontroller, but you still have those type of meter that normally deflect. Just, just this type, just this type, just this type, just this type. Uh -huh, look at it there. Look at it there. Okay. So, let me continue. Now, like as I was saying earlier before. The stabilizer, the best type of stabilizer, it all varies. And for me, I would prefer 
century. Uh, someone say, why do you prepare century? I will explain more. Let me go detail. The microcontroller base. They are very sensitive stabilizer. So in case the light is going up and down, you might have a lot of issues with that type of stabilizer. They're easily worn out. And one thing why I don't like those type of microcontroller stabilizer is when it ends, when it, when the problem goes into the controller, it's gone. Go and buy a new one. Or someone had a body we sell. Uh, or, or someone had another body we sell. And you will use that board instead. But it is difficult to find another board. And the other type about the non microcontroller, those ones are the best. That's why I prefer Century. They are rugged, they are suitable for Nigerian standard. So, once again, to me, Century is the best. Now, when it comes to this modern type of stabilizer, the one that normally hang on the wall, just like that one I showed you before. Just like that one there, you'll find out that they are microcontroller based. So, majority of them are good to be sincere. If not for the fluctuation of light, actually, those stabilizers are supposed to be the best. It is because of the fluctuation of light in Nigeria that makes me say that Century is the best, is rugged, and you can fix it back to life no matter how it is. You can bring it back to life. So, once again, if you are buying a stabilizer, weigh the area you are living. If, like all those GRA, their voltage are stable, it does not go below, some does not go below 180, uh, but it's stable. That one you can use any form of stabilizer, especially this modern type, the one they hang on the wall. Yeah, you can use them. You can even use a Savo. Let me tell you something about Savo. Okay, first of all, let me finish this. You can use them. But in a place where the light is fluctuating, I will advise you, go for Century. If you go for a microcontroller base or a fancy stabilizer that looks so beautiful, don't be surprised. In one, two months, the stabilizer is gone because the fluctuation is much inside. So the sensitivity is much. Now, let me go to another aspect again. We have another type of stabilizer in the market now. They are servo. They are called servo. They work with an auto transformer. It moves. It selects the voltage range. Let's say the voltage is at 120. You will see the the auto transformer move as in form of a servo. It's a servo. It moves. It makes the noise.